Well, as you can see, we're here at the Cinemark Theater in Helena, where the red carpet event for Father Stu just wrapped up. The movie based on the life of Helena Catholic priest Stuart Long. Now, MTN's John Riley spoke with family and friends for the inspiration on this movie, and he has their story. Stuart Long, or Father Stu, as he was better known, had a profound impact on the Helena community, both as a spiritual leader and as a friend. It's interesting because, Stu, it didn't matter who you were. You could have been the President of the United States, or you could have been uh, some small child uh, that was unknown. You, he treated you equally. Father Bart Tolleson was a good friend of Stu's, and notes that nobody who knew him when he was younger would have pegged him as priest material. Long was a prominent athlete in the Helena area. He played football for both Capitol High and Carroll College, and also won the 1985 Golden Gloves heavyweight title for Montana. After a jaw injury from prize fighting, Long made the decision to move to Los Angeles to take a shot at becoming a movie star. However, a near fatal motorcycle accident in LA prompted him to explore his religious faith, which ultimately led to his baptism as a Roman Catholic so that he could marry his then girlfriend at the time. While in seminary, Long was diagnosed with an extremely rare autoimmune disease that mimics the symptoms of ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease. Yet, despite the disease, Stu's friends and congregation remember him as being full of life and joy. He tried to bring Christ into every single event all day long with the people around him and himself. But he also had an amazing sense of humor and is a little edgy. He's extremely funny, you know, and um, um, kind of a dry sense of humor. And uh, yeah, you can see him always trying to temper his humor to some degree because he wanted to stay serious I think towards the end you know he always wanted to bring the conversation back to God and where you were with him and make sure that you're moving along that path. Father Stu continued his ministry right up until his disease took his life but by his own account the trial placed before him made him a much better person. We don't get to choose what happens only how we respond to it and how we're going to let God how we're going to cooperate with God to overcome the difficulties and challenges that exist in our world. Through the difficulties and the struggles that I've been through, the problems that have arisen from this, and the people, especially my dad, who have come to my side to support me and aid me, you know, and assist me through this, this life since I've been diagnosed with this, it's the, probably the best thing that's ever happened to me. Father Stu's priorities significantly changed later in life. His dreams of being a movie star faded as he found fulfillment through being a priest. And yet, his story of facing his disease through faith and inspiring others through his ministry led to a major motion picture being made about his life. Funny how things work, isn't it? Reporting in Helena, John Riley, MTN News. Now, while the premiere was a private event, there are some additional advanced screenings in Montana that are open to the public. Now, the advanced screenings benefit the Capitol High School Alumni Class of 1981 Memorial Endowment Scholarship. The movie opens widely in theaters on April 13th. Those open and additional advanced screenings are in Missoula at the Roxy Theater at April on April 6th at 7.30, in Helena at the Myrna Loy Center on Friday, April 8th at 6.30, and at the Babcock Theater in Billings on Saturday, April 9th at 6 o'clock.